Okay, so in this video, we're gonna talk about flexibility and judo. Uh, how flexible do you need to be? Is it useful? Uh, does it give you some kind of advantage, especially if you're a uh, adult starting judo and you know, you're uh, hyper flexible. Okay, this is from uh, Gil Bates. Gil, okay, is uh, super flexible. He was wondering if uh, he if he starts judo, uh, it would be it would be okay, it would be some sort of advantage, or he would die from it. Because supposedly off the internet, if you start when you're an adult, uh, you know, like people make uh, some people make a really big deal out of it, and some people don't. By the way, guys, Gil has a background in figure skating. I know in, in figure skating, if you jump, you might like land on your ass because you know you missed the landing. Uh, but in judo, like you're actually being you're being thrown by somebody else, and you're actually trying to resist, but you know he just caught you. Either he muscled it, or he just caught you really good, and then you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna land on your back. If you're not afraid of falling, and um, you know because you, you fall in quite a bit uh, in, in in figure skating, then I guess if you go to judo and you learn how to break fall, right? Which I made another video regarding that. In terms of your flexibility, that's definitely gonna help. Flexibility, joint mobility. Like I I know guys that are. Um, not flexible at all, but are very high level. Um, but I feel as though <clears throat> the ones who do the best, in my opinion, in the world are the Japanese, because one, it's their sport. So it's really, they have a really solid structure uh, when it comes to judo. They maintain that flexibility throughout. So when you see like the way they fight, it's very, like they're not, they're not, they're not made out of stone, so to speak, you know? Like of course they're strong, but I mean, they're flexible too. Your movement patterns are better and you could, you're more explosive when you're flexible and you have more mobility because you can generate more force because you have more range of motion. And also like less chances of injury too, because if you're stiff as a board, okay, you're gonna get hurt. But the important thing is to learn how to fall, get comfortable with that, so I think, uh, Gil here would actually um, uh, pick it up pretty fast because he's not afraid of falling. Once he learns how to fall the correct way on tatamis, you know, which is which is even safer than falling on ice when you really think about it. Why would people say that that you would die if you do if you start judo when you're an adult? Like me, I had pretty decent flexibility and pretty in pretty good shape when I started judo, but I still wound up with a bunch of injuries. Why? Because well, judo is a, is a tough sport, you know. But I have a lot less injuries. Uh, than, than somebody who might not have been as flexible or might not have been as fit. Private lessons is something that would definitely benefit you. Private lessons are gonna help you progress faster and, 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 and safer. Unfortunately, when there's just too many people, it's hard for them to just focus on you. They, 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 they gotta go see other people too. They have assistant coaches and all that, but you know, like uh, they can't be spending uh, but if you take privates, you know, and, and I'm not saying that you have to take them um, uh, for, uh, for super long periods of time, but it's definitely going to help you at the beginning. Listen, I hope that answered your question. I hope that made sense. So if you have any more questions, hey, don't be shy, guys, uh, in the comments, okay? Uh, and I'll, I'll catch them when I can, as much as, as much as I can. But if not, send me an email. And of course, like and share the video helps me grow the channel. Talk to you guys soon. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms, and you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing, guys. If you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them, and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.